Hey everyone, welcome back to Footy Leagues Around the World. My name is Ryan. Today we're going back to West Africa. It's Benin. Footy Leagues Around the World. Footy Leagues, heck yeah! Football is the most popular sport in Benin. Let's find out why. First off, there are three leagues in Benin. At the top is the Benin Premier League, also known as the Vitalor League One, or the Championnat National du Benin in French, as French is the official language of the country. As of the 2018-2019 season, the league was made up of 19 teams. However, next season, the league will be shrinking to 16 teams, so this year, five teams are being relegated to the Vitalor League Two, while two teams from that league are being promoted. There there's also a team called AS Police who had all of their games from this season annulled for whatever reason, and I'm not sure if they will be participating in League 2. The winner of League 1 qualifies for the CAF Champions League. In League 2 there are 19 teams, the top 2 teams are promoted, while the bottom 3 teams are relegated. And finally there's the Vitalor League 3, which is made up of 19 teams. They're split up into a Pool A and Pool B, and after an unknown amount of games, the top 6 teams, 3 from each pool, play each other once to determine who the top 3 teams are, and those 3 teams are promoted. There is no relegation from League 3. The League 1 season lasts from October to April with each team playing 21 games. While Benin is a country of 10 million people, much of its population is found in the southern tip of the country along the Gulf of Guinea. As a result, many of its football teams are found here as well. Teams in the top flight are also heavily concentrated in the country's two major cities, Porto Novo, the capital, which has four teams, and the largest city, Cotonou, which also has four teams. Teams play in stadiums big and small, the biggest being Stade de Amati in Cotonou, which holds 35,000 people, and Stade de Charles de Gaulle in Porto Novo, which holds 25,000. Now at one point there were two cup competitions in Benin. The first was the Coupe de Benin, your standard knockout competition, which is being played this year for the first time since 2014. This competition has been played on and off since 1974 and has changed names a few times. At one point there was also a Super Cup, which pinned the winner of the Coupe de Benin against the winner of the league, but this competition has only been played five times in the country's history, in 2002, 2003, 2006, 2007, and 2014. The Benin Premier League formed in 1969, nine years after the country declared independence from France. Since its first season, there have been 13 years where the league has either not happened, has been suspended, or has been abandoned, including recently from 2014 to 2016. This gap was caused by a disagreement from the Benin FA over its presidency, which started in 2012, after one president was accused of financial mismanagement. However, the league has since resumed and hopefully will continue to move forward from here. In the Premier League, the most successful side has been AS Dragons FC, who have won the league 12 times, most recently in 2003, followed not so closely by Buffels de Bourgogne FC with four. In total, there have been 15 teams who have won the Premier League since 1969. In African Cup competitions, teams from Benin have never done very well and have never reached the group stage of the CAF Champions League or the second tier of the Confederation Cup. Some of the most well-known players to play in Benin include Moussa Latonji and Steven Sessegnon, but it is unknown who has scored the most goals and who has won the most MVP awards, if that is indeed a thing. There are a few players that have played in Benin who have also represented the country's national team, but a majority of their stars on the national team were actually born abroad, most of the time in France, and choose to represent Benin because of family ties. In the top flight of Benin, all teams are semi-pro, and teams are allowed to have a maximum of five foreign-born players on their roster. While a majority of the players who play in Benin are from there, foreign-born players hail from neighboring African countries like Ghana, Togo, and Nigeria. For those who can't go to games, games are broadcasted locally on LC2 International, and highlights of the league are also broadcasted on ESAE TV Sport Plus, which also has an extensive YouTube channel. Highlights of League 2 can be found on PlusPressTV.net or on their YouTube channel, but it is unclear if PlusPressTV or or ESAE TV are simply internet channels or if they actually have signal in Benin. As semi professional,
professional as Benin football is, however, all highlights of the league can be found in HD and many of them are fairly up to date. If you know anywhere else on the internet to find highlights or live streams of games from Benin, you know what to do. Leave a comment or a link below. Well that's it for Benin, thanks for watching. Coming up next is one of the world's most isolated countries, it's Bhutan. fans, it's Ryan. Thanks again for watching another episode. Uh, I've got two pieces of information I wanted to pass along to you guys. First off, we are officially on Twitter now, at FootyLeaguesATW, so if you have a Twitter account, make sure to follow us there uh, for updated videos, highlights that we've liked, and also occasional commentary. We are also on Facebook and have been for a while because we're super old school like that. Footy Leagues around the world there. Uh, secondly, or thirdly, I guess, uh, because we have a Twitter account, we got a question of ours answered by ESPN FC, which is a show about soccer here in the United States. And I thought that was pretty cool, so I have posted a link of that video underneath the description here. Uh, yeah, so make sure to go check it out. And uh, thank you again for the continued support. Bhutan is coming up next.